Hey guys, take a minute the video. If you guys in today's video, we're gonna compare the new iPhone 14 Pro with the iPhone 8 that was released back in 2017. So it's a five year difference between the phone. We're gonna talk about the hardware, the software, overall camera, battery life, and if you're gonna be upgrading from the 8 to the iPhone 14, uh, Pro, what are things to look at, or just comparing the differences if you're looking to choose why you might choose one versus another. All of that we're going to talk about in this video. So at the end of the video, hopefully you guys are knowledgeable and kind of know the difference between these two phones, whether you upgrade or just simply want to know the differences between these two phones. So let's dive right into it. As you can see here, of course, the phones are very different when it comes to just looking at it. If I hold a side by side, you'll notice the iPhone 14 Pro here again huge compared to the iPhone 8 here in terms of actual display real estate as well here you have a 6.1 inch super retina XDR display versus a 4.7 uh, retina HD display again big difference here of course you have on the iPhone 8 here that a uh, touch ID and the top notch here on the iPhone 14 uh, Pro now you're going to this no new feature which is the dynamic island feature which expands based on notification and alerts that you get on your phone so now let's look at other hardware differences you'll notice by turning it over to the back here of course the back here you have a differences as well here now the difference between of course the color here so the, both of the phones do come in your base uh, gold silver and uh, this black edition of it but uh, additionally on the new 14 pro is the new color which is the deep purple for the very first time this has been introduced now it's a darker purple than the other ones we've seen and then if we look at other things like camera example here you got three cameras here and one of them now is an upgraded 48 megapixel camera two of them 12 megapixel camera on the eight here as you can see here just has one 12 megapixel camera big difference and then other differences of course you notice here both of the back are glass here you'll notice here the difference in terms of bezel design you have flat bezel versus a rounded bezel now flat bezel started with the iphone 12 lineup and it seems to continue with the apple's uh, newer phones as well here and then the other thing you notice here on the 14 pro is this darker shade of spot on the bezel here this is the 5g mmm wave which is only available in the u.s model and certain countries as well here the iphone 8 plus on the other hand does not have 5g capability so if you're looking for 5g capability you'll need to look at iphone 14 pro or for the matter of fact iphone 12 and above since that's when the 5g came available for the iphones here now another big physical differences between these two phones is that physical sim iphone 8 here does have a physical sim where you can see that hole right there fortunately on the us model iphone 14 pro no longer has a physical sim now this is really important especially if you travel or like to switch out your sim now you can't really do that you'll have to go through the carrier to activate your e-sim card and or even to remove your e-sim card so those are going to be some big things coming between these two phones in terms of physical differences now let's talk about other hardware differences is this so the, the display itself here on the iPhone 14 Pro here, you have 120 hertz refresh rate versus only 60 refresh rate. You have things like ProMotion and this always on feature as you can see here for the very first time on the iPhone lineup here. Of course, other differences between these two phones, it's going to be, it's of course a build in terms of its hardware on it. So on the iPhone 14 Pro has the latest A16 Bionic chip with more gigs of RAM on the iPhone 8 here, it's a 5 year old phone, so A11 Bionic chip, which was at the time the best chip that you can get on a smart device. Again, there's a big difference in terms of performance of a 5 year old chip versus a newer chip, of course, that is given. Now, moving on to the next thing you'll notice here, it's the camera here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the camera here. Of course, both of the phone does have pretty good camera. Now, when it comes to camera, we want to kind of mention a couple things here. So when you have the zoom level, you see you can up go to 15 times where there's no zoom level on the iPhone 8 here. Other things you'll probably notice here, portrait mode isn't available on the iPhone 8, so you can't do any of that. And along with portrait mode, things like night mode isn't available on the iPhone 8, so those are the missing features. And then going into the video, of course, both of the phones do record up to 4K, but you'll notice things like action mode, which is a new feature on the 14 Pro, it's not available on the iPhone 8 now. This just allows the phone to go ahead and stabilizes where you're on the go trying to record other things like cinematic mode, which again was introduced on the iPhone 13 Pro and the Pro Max lineup is available on the 14 Pro. Unfortunately, you don't get those upgrades on the camera. So huge upgrade in terms of camera without getting really 
deep into it, but knew, know that, of course, from my 8 to a 14 Pro, you're going to see huge differences in terms of camera, especially if you care about those little specs. Now, moving on to the next thing, which is battery life. So what kind of battery life can you expect between these two phones? Of course, small body phone, the iPhone 8 here, gives you about 13 hours of video playback versus 23 hours of video playback on the iPhone 14 Pro. Again, 10 hour difference in terms of video playback. Now, again, the other thing we do want to mention, if you're a light to uh, medium user, the iPhone 8 uh, Plus won't probably get, probably get you to halfway the day before you need to charge again. On the other hand, the iPhone 14 Pro, again, could get you through pretty much the whole day on a full single charge. So big upgrade in the battery life as well. Now let's move on to the software aspect of both of these two phones. When it comes to software, one thing we want to mention, which is slightly closer to hardware, is the amount of gigs you can get these two phones. The iPhone uh, 14 Pro goes from 128 gig base all the way to one terabyte. On the limitation on the iPhone 8 here, you can get it starting at 64 gig, but it doesn't go past 256 gig. And it kind of matters because if you're storing a lot locally on your phone, you want something that has at least is closer to 512 gig again 256 gig is still a lot but it's something we want to mention for you guys now let's talk about the software and so so as you can see both of the phones are running ios 16 we see all of the new features coming from ios 16 those customizable oh lock screen home screen you have updated uh, features but you'll see both of the phones are capable of running iOS 16. Now, what does that mean? The iPhone 8 here was a cutoff of getting iOS 16. So this is the last little model that you can get iOS 16. Well, iOS 16 was built for iPhone 14. So that's going to give away a lot in terms of what you can expect. Although a lot of the features do come with the iPhone 8, there are some features that aren't available, like being able to remove the background and other things as well. We discussed on the iOS 16 review for the iPhone 8, which you might want to check out. But besides that, Things like your typical apps for your social media to your entertainment app, video app, uh, music streaming, all of that seems to work fine on both of the phones. There's going to be no issue, of course, when it comes to things like launching the app between both of these two phones, which if you do a speed test, you'll notice the 14 Pro, of course, beats the iPhone 8 because of that added RAM and the latest chip running on it here. So if we take a look at other things, right, as you see here, I'm able to open up most apps without any issues as that's kind of given. Now, when it comes to one thing we meant to mention about is heavy graphic gaming. The iPhone 8, again, isn't recommended to any do any heavy graphic gaming, but if you're doing light gaming, both of the phones will do that pretty much pretty good. But uh, when it comes to in the games that are meant to be in the console, this is where the iPhone 14 Pro will excel in that stuff. Of course, other things like video playback on things like Netflix and YouTube, all of that will be pretty much fine on both of the apps. One thing we want to mention on the 14 Pro here is that, of course, because of that bigger display, it feels much better to watch videos on the iPhone 14 Pro than the iPhone 8 here. So that's kind of the rundown it in terms of performance. All of the apps pretty much run on both of the phones. And uh, when it talks about performance, Again, it runs well. The iPhone 8, when it comes to iOS 17, which expected to release next year, not quite sure if the iPhone 8 will get that update. So this phone might be good for this year and next year, but then after that, we're not quite sure. Although it is going to get security update, but major update might stop for the iPhone 8 here. So finally, let's talk about why you would consider one versus the other. So why would you consider an iPhone 8 over the 14 Pro if you think you're buying either of the phones? Well, the iPhone 8, again, like I mentioned, basic stuff, it will get you pretty much doing the calling, texting, browsing, all of that basic stuff. As you can see, it's a small compact phone with that fingerprint and a lighter phone for or maybe a child or someone who doesn't care about the latest and the greatest iPhone 8 does get you that job done. And you can score this phone around $100 if you're buying it pre-owned or used, which will leave the link in the description section. You can get it from eBay or on Amazon. So again, price, budget-friendly phone and a small phone that again, does most of the basic stuff again, and it will be pretty much good for another year or two. Now, why would you consider a 14 Pro or thinking of upgrading to a 14 Pro? Well, it's definitely worth upgrading to the 14 Pro from an aid speaking, but why is that uh, upgrade? Well, there's bunch of things we have of course you have a better display you have 120 hertz refresh rate you have things like pro motion and the always on feature finally coming on but aside even that in terms of display you notice the brightness when you take it outside is about 
180% higher than the iPhone 8. So when you take it outside, you'll see the difference in terms of the display. Of course, other things we want to mention is the bench test that we started to do on the iPhone 8 versus the 14 Pro. You get around 2.8 uh, times better performance when it comes to those benchmark tests that we have done so far. Of course, the other things we already mentioned is the upgrades in the camera, things like night mode, ProRos, that action mode coming in and cinematic mode. You also have, again, a bigger battery because the iPhone, again, eight smaller phones, smaller phone uh, battery. You have 3200 mAh versus 1800 mAh for almost close to 1400 mAh greater, which gives you 23 hours of video playback versus only around uh, 13, 14 hours, even shorter than that, depending on the battery health. And of course, other things we mentioned, here on the phone has the latest version of Wi-Fi 6 capability and of course it has a new t Bluetooth version as well which again if you're looking at the specs you'll probably see in between these two phones. So again that's kind of rundown of both of these two phones. We want to hear from you guys if you guys use one or the other phones, if you guys upgraded, what's your experience have been like using either of these phones. Leave a comment in this comment section while you're at it. Make sure that like and subscribe button for future videos just like this. Hope you guys enjoyed this and thanks for watching. See you guys next time.